guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my first time jumping into DCS in a while. Um, I really haven't touched it for a while. Uh, I've been waiting for the 2.7 update, I've been waiting for some of the new choppers, but you know, for the most part, I really just haven't touched it much lately. So I wanted to jump in here now and take a look at the uh, 2.7 update. And I wanted to see what these clouds look like. So what should I do? Let's go to instant action. Let's pick F14. Can never go wrong with the F14. Let's jump into Syria. Let's do a free flight between Lebanon and Syria. Let's take a look and see what these clouds look like in the Tomcat. Alrighty, in the Tomcat. Let's give her some gas and uh, get it up in the air. I forgot this one was like a dawn mission. At the moment, nothing looks different on the ground. However, in the sky, it looks more cloudy, I guess you could say. And I haven't manipulated or changed anything, so this is the default setting. Probably should have picked a daytime mission. But I'm definitely noticing those little clouds off over in the distance there. Those look rather nice. Kind of as you reach the mountaintops there. And uh, there's definitely more going on in the sky that I don't remember from before. it up a little higher. Yeah, there's definitely more clouds, for sure. A lot more layers that I don't remember being there. They don't look flat either. There's definitely some volume to them. Shoot that one right there. That's pretty cool. Come out of burn. Yeah, that looks rather nice. Yeah, this definitely looks different. Very, very cool. bad Eagle Dynamics. At the same time, I don't have a frame counter running at the moment to tell you, um, but just right off the bat, it doesn't feel like um, it's any slower to me, performance-wise. And that really was my biggest fear to jump in here. and. Uh, have Chuggalug City, you know, slideshow, and it doesn't really appear to be that. 
so this is really a pleasant surprise. Let's jump out and take a look at something else. All right, here we are in the Viper over Syria in the free flight mission. Let's kick it up and get into these clouds and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Yeah, right away it looks way better. Look at the sun kind of peering down through that. That's pretty sick. Let's get up into these clouds. Yeah, that really is impressive. Again, it doesn't seem like it's doing a lot to the performance for me, but the real test would be trying to jump into VR and see what it does to the VR experience, which was already atrocious before this. So, But I don't think I want to go through all that trouble today. Set it up, get it going, just to be disappointed. This looks really good. It definitely changes the entire atmosphere and environment. You know, you really feel like there's actually a sky up above the terrain, you know? And it's really nice to kind of peek down in between the pockets here of the clouds to see terrain down below through these awesome, just super floofy clouds. I've also read that there are mixed experiences for people with this update so far. A lot of people have said their VR performance was improved. Others have said it's much worse. But I think that's par for the course when it comes to something as big as DCS with such a, uh, a varied install base with so many possible different configurations. So I can't sit here and tell you honestly that you know 2.7 is worse than what it was because uh, right out of the box, my experience so far in 2D, just using my Track IR and my Super Ultra Wide monitor, I think it looks really good, and I'm not seeing like a major performance hit. But I'm also not trying to crunch numbers right now either. I didn't do it before and an after. Um, I never had a problem before with um, DCS in terms of performance in 2D uh, with my uh, track IR on the super ultra wide it, it's always ran rather well um, it's the VR performance where I've always had a problem and my machine is just at this point it's not a high-end machine anymore because of the 30 series cards and the newer processors but I'm running an i9 9900k 32 gigabytes of PC 3000 megahertz memory off an SSD with uh, an NVIDIA 2080 Super GPU. So I'm not even in the 3000 series yet, and that's only because I can't freaking find one. Um, I would love to get my hands on a 3080, but I just can't seem to find one at the proper retail cost, and there's no point in paying $2,000 for a $700 video card. That's just asinine. Uh, I'll wait until the next generation if I have to, because honestly, this 2080 is really doing a great job. Or 2080 Super is what I have. Seems to do a fantastic job, for what I needed to do at least. But these clouds look really good. Let's jump back and try one more thing. Alrighty, and here we are in the Huey. I had to give this a shot because I'm really dying to see the new choppers in DCS and I really, really enjoy the Huey. Although it's been a minute since I've flown it, that's for sure. But, as expected, the clouds look fantastic in a chopper too. Although, nine times out of ten, you're never really going to go that high to get up into those clouds very often in most military choppers. That's just not kind of what you do, you know? If 
anything, being too high makes you a target for uh, small arms fire and, uh, well, I guess small arms wouldn't be as much of a threat as the rocket propelled grenades, though. But anyway, I just wanted to jump in here and do this Syria free flight mission with the new clouds. And uh, again, it doesn't seem like it's really negatively affecting me performance-wise. Um, and I'm down here in the thick of things with all this like super detailed city down below, and I'm not seeing any stuttering or jitters or anything like that, which is really nice. It's actually very smooth, as one might expect. And again, my system at this point is not considered high-end anymore because there are 3000 series GPUs and faster processors now, but you know, my i9-9900K with a 2080 Super and 32 gigs of memory seems to be doing really well in DCS in 2.7, at least so far. Um, this is just me jumping in some of the instant action missions to see uh, how things handle, what things look like, and how the clouds affect the overall atmosphere. And I gotta admit, it really does make a difference to that skyline. You know, it, it's definitely more pronounced. It definitely looks more floofy. Uh, there's more volume to them. It doesn't look flat like 2D anymore. It really looks freaking good. So I gotta give it to them. I think they did a fantastic job with the clouds. Uh, there's a variety of other things they've done in 2.72, and I don't have the list in front of me right now to go through it, but we'll go through that in the Flight Sim News. But as it stands, you know, the biggest thing that people are looking for is the clouds and uh, a lot of the improvements to the Hornet and the Viper. And uh, like I said, what I'm seeing so far is it, it really adds a nice layer to that sky and, and, and makes that atmosphere of the sky much more believable now. You know, for once, I don't think I have much to complain about. Because right now, I'm actually enjoying it, and it looks really cool. And, you know, adding more to this atmosphere is what it's all about, you know. It is a simulation. You want to get that feeling of being there, and I'm starting to believe more that I'm actually there as I look into the sky. So, good job, Eagle Dynamics. So that's about it for the clouds. I just wanted to jump in here and show you the clouds and what I thought about it, my first impressions of the clouds. And uh, there's there's a variety of different settings I think you can change and the mission editor and whatnot. And I'm not going to go into that. This is just, again, my first impressions of jumping in there and what do I think by looking at the clouds as soon as I jump in there and start flying. Uh, this is an in-depth overview of the clouds, the technology, the options, what they can do with them, etc., etc. Uh, I'm sure the Grim Reapers or one of those other guys are probably have already done a more in-depth look at that kind of stuff. But uh, what, what I'm seeing, I'm liking, and uh, I haven't liked DCS in a while. So it's nice to jump back in and actually feel like there's actually something new here to enjoy. And uh, I'm getting that feeling. So. Awesome job, Eagle Eagle Dynamics. Now, to get the rest of those choppers, that's what I'm waiting for. Where's the hind, man? I want the hind. I want the uh, Kiowa. And I want the Apache now. Clouds aren't that much of an issue for helicopters, but again, even in a helicopter, I wanted to jump in here and show you that the sky up above you as you look up really does add to the overall immersion factor and environment and it definitely feels better. So that's it for my first impressions of the 2.7 update clouds. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, feel free to hit that like button, and until next time guys, 